Hey, this is Devin Allman, and you are at the Blues Fest with the AU Review. Thank you for joining us, and um, welcome to Blues Fest. Thank you so much. Is it your first time to this festival? Uh, second time. I played here last year with Royal Southern Brotherhood, and just fell in love with it. I had to come back. I thought I thought I saw them on one of the one of the recent years lineups. Yeah. You know, how did you find the crowds to to respond? You know, with uh, with that group great they were ecstatic it was yeah. <laughs> uh it was a big party we had a lot of fun it, it, just a really warm crowd and uh i think all over australia you know i think that people really get it you know and they support real music mm. and this is the place to see it that's for sure absolutely it's a beautiful day and you're alongside plenty of other legends as well yeah. in the uh in the uh from around the world are you going to get to hang around for a couple of days and, and actually see some music? Well, I play pretty early today, so I'll be checking out, yeah, four or five bands tonight. And then uh, tomorrow, i got to get some beach time, man, you know? <laughs> um, but definitely, yeah. Yeah, I'll end up seeing six or seven shows, you know, while I'm here. It looks like you've seen, you've seen you're a bit red, you've seen a little bit of sun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple days on uh, Morton Island, a couple days in Brisbane. Yeah. Uh, after the the winter from hell that we had in America, this is uh, it's a very nice it's change. Still snowing in the north. It's oh yeah, insane. yeah, it's really insane. Well, <laughs> you're doing all right being here then. Absolutely. And um, since your last visit, you've released a uh, solo record. Congratulations yes. on that. Thank you. Can you talk us through a little bit about you know the origins of that record? I know that it, you'd already finished it by the time you were last here. Yeah. No. I. Uh, you know, it was something that was. You know, kind of done by the record label. The the label signed Royal Southern Brotherhood, and then a few of us individually as well. Um, and it was just kind of time for me to do a a real song based record, a real kind of reflection over the last decade or so of my life touring. And you know, so a lot of the um, the themes of the record ended up being you know home and and stability, and you know, kind of all the things I'm craving while I'm out here doing. The crazy ride so uh it was an important record for me to do so 11 tracks on there one of which is a cover yes um t tell us about that song and why you chose it i've always liked tom petty first of all uh but that song that he did with stevie nicks stop dragging my heart around um i don't know i just always it was kind of an idea that i've had for a long time and in fact 10 and 12 years ago when i was playing just local shows in, in st louis missouri I would have different chicks come up and do that song with me, you know, mm. that were, that were, you know, pretty successful in town. Um, and I thought if I ever went national or international, it would be a really cool thing to do to kind of collaborate with somebody and, and kind of revisit that tune. So I was really happy Samantha Fish did it. She killed it. She knocked it out of the park and um, she's a great friend. We do a lot of touring together. So it just worked out, you know, it's the right timing. Do you get the opportunity to, you know, you mentioned that there's a lot of local musicians that you uh, perform that track with. Do you get the chance to perform with them often? Is, is there any plans to record and collaborate with other other musicians? And, and well, I, you know, mostly it's, it's kind of tough when everybody's like locked into record deals, you know. Mm. Um, Robert Randolph and I have talked about doing a record together. You know, maybe that can happen someday. Um, it's mostly relegated to like jamming on stage, mm. you know, which I've jammed with Government Mule and, you know, John Popper and, you know, these cats. Um, that, and we that, have a, that has we to be have pretty a, cool. Yeah, we have a blast. Uh, North Mississippi All Stars, you just sat in with them. Um, you know, we try to kind of cross pollinate when we can. I mean, it's what it's all about is kind of coming together and trading licks. So, as an album title, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Coming together and trading licks. There you go. With, uh, with your solo um, career now, with the solo record, is, is this the start of, of more solo material or are you going to go back, oh, yeah. do you think? No, I, I think that it's, it's, it's a really nice balance between, uh, you know, doing Royal Southern Brotherhood and having my own thing. I think, you know, once, once I go out with Royal for a while and I'm really kind of craving to just do everything, mm. you know, then I get that chance. And then when I'm out doing everything and I'm like, okay I'm over it <laughs> then I get to go back and, and do the thing with them so um, it's it's a really good balance and I think um, as long as we can keep that balance it's important mm. you know and you mentioned the music kind of comes off of of the 10 years you spent on the road and the experience sure. you've had on the road 
do you write on the road? Does I mean, does some of that come out? Does some of those songs come literally from the road? I suppose? Yeah, some of them. Um, you know, be it sound check and just be kind of jamming along and hit something I like and you know hit the iPhone, record a little snippet and then take it back to the hotel and um, you know pull up the iPad and you know <laughs> it's all crazy but it's it's very easy now mm. you know to uh to go back to your room and and flesh out an idea on something like garage band mm. you know um and then you have rough demos so you can pass along and you know whichever ones you dig the most they make it to the record and the rest of the year what's it holding for you oh more of the same um <laughs> a lot of travel probably about 20 countries this year um new solo record new royal southern brotherhood record uh, June 10 is the new Royal Southern Brotherhood record. It's called uh, Heart, Soul, Blood. And then uh, I have a solo blues record coming out in uh, October called Ragged and Dirty. So we're just plugging away, man. you got a busy, busy year ahead. Yeah, I thought last year was busy until <laughs> I looked at this one. Where did, but I'm yeah, living the dream, though. I mean, yeah. like, I literally, you know, dreamed of doing this as a kid. So mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm beyond happy. And it's getting to play events like this, it ain't, it ain't that bad. Well, life is good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Appreciate and uh, looking forward to your set later today. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun.